Good morning, everybody. Today, I thought we'd start our day with our March poem like we do every day in school. So as I read it, please read it with me. I'm sure you know all the words by now. Here we go. Never mind March, we know when you blow, you're not really mad or angry or bad. You're only blowing the winter away to get the world ready for April and May. Let's see how many sight words we could find in here. Are you ready? Y'all stop when you see one. Oh, there's March. We, you, The, to, the, for, and, very good. Okay, so today I thought we'd read two Easter books. The first one is from our friend Clifford, Clifford's Happy Easter, and the author's name is Norman Bridwell. We have read a lot of Clifford books, and I know three of you have our Clifford dogs at home right now. Okay. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I love spring. So does my dog Clifford, and it's finally spring this week. The best part about springtime is Easter. Last spring, Mom and Dad brought us a lot of eggs to color for the big Easter egg hunt. On the day before Easter, I dyed the eggs. Clifford wanted to help. Poor Clifford, he wasn't very good at painting eggs. Oh, look at him smashing them all, he's so big. So Clifford helped by watching the, me decorate the eggs. He's a good watcher. When I went to bed that night, I fell asleep dreaming about Easter eggs. It was a beautiful dream. Clifford was stirring a giant tub of dye while I tossed in the eggs. But then Clifford lost his balance. He tumbled into the tub of dye. So something surprising began to happen to Clifford. Suddenly, Clifford was bright green. It was just like St. Patrick's Day. Then he turned sunshine yellow. Oh, my favorite. This was becoming a very strange dream. I grabbed a brush and began to dab on purple polka dots. Clifford looked good in polka dots, but they didn't last long. The purple dots turned into squares and Clifford looked like a giant checkerboard. I didn't like that. I threw on some more dye. Clifford started to change colors again. Now he was red, white, and blue. I always used to wonder if I dreamed in color. Now I know. This was too much. I tried to scrub the dye off Clifford. I was getting frantic. Then I woke up. It was Easter morning and the sun was shining. I ran out to see Clifford. Thank goodness he looked just the same as always. Good old Clifford. We joined my friends and set off on the Easter egg hunt. We looked high, we looked low. Clifford looked in places I would not have thought of. No hiding place was missed. Sometimes Clifford went a little too far. His hard work helped. We ended up with a heaps of eggs. Look at all those eggs they got. Which we shared with our friends, how nice. After all, friends are what make Easter a happy day. 
Now that book wasn't very long, so I thought we would do a really short, fun flap book. I love flap books. This story is called, I Need an Easter Egg, a Lift the Flap story. The author's name is Harriet Zyfert, and it's illustrated by Laura Rader. Here we go. Let's see what's under the flaps. Hummingbird, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. I need one for my grandma. No, Little Rabbit, I lay white hummingbird eggs. Robin, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. No, Little Rabbit, I lay blue robin's eggs. Little Rabbit saw a snake, but he decided not to ask her for an egg for Grandma. Sparrow, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. No, Little Rabbit, I lay spotted sparrow eggs. Then who lays Easter eggs, cried Little Rabbit. Not me, said the duck. Not me, said the goose. And not me, said the frog. Chicken, do you lay Easter eggs, Little Rabbit asked. We lay lots and lots of eggs, but we do not think they are Easter eggs. Our eggs are perfectly plain white. Please, Mrs. Hen, Little Rabbit begged, I would like the biggest, whitest, and smoothest egg. Here it is, said Mrs. Hen. Little Rabbit had a plan. He knew just what he was going to do. He took out his paints and his paintbrush, and he began to work. I'm done, said Little Rabbit, and this is an Easter egg. Happy Easter, Grandma. I'm glad he solved his problem. All right, let's get our wreath. Yesterday we said we had nine, so I'm going to take away one toothpick. How many do you think are gonna be left? Okay, nine minus one. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Did we count that right? Yesterday we had 10. Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have one that was stuck in here. That's what happened. It seems to have broken in half. Let me get that one. See how it's shorter? Here, let's check that out. Things happen. Look, do you see how short it is? It got caught in the, in the wreath. Okay, so we had nine, we took away one. So how many should we have left? Eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy's sliding in there, there he is. All right, so we have eight left. All right, have a good day, do kind things, and let your light shine. Love you. Bye.